Hello everyone, this is Greg, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to rebuild my first ever modern house. Modern house number one has an elegant and unique design. Now the first tutorial version of modern house number one was a little unclear, as it was my first tutorial I ever made. However, now I created a much easier and simpler version. This build is broken down into 18 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, here's a quick little side note. This modern mansion is roughly 40 by 29 blocks wide, and it is 14 blocks tall. These dimensions are helpful if you're building inside of a neighborhood and you need to know how close you can build next to another house. Also, here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Step 1. First let's make the base structure to the house. We will need 176 quartz blocks for this step. Make an 8x8 eight eight square out of quartz blocks. Then raise the square to a total of 4 blocks tall. Next, move over six spaces and place a quartz block on the six space over. And that will leave a five block gap in between. Then we can extend this row back so it is a total length of eight blocks long. Then raise the wall to a total of four blocks tall. Then let's make another wall on the other side. Move over to the 6th space and place a block on the 6th space. And make this wall 8 blocks long. And extend this wall up to a total height of 4 blocks tall as well. Step 2. Next is add quartz extensions. We will need 68 quartz blocks. First start by removing 4 blocks from the center of the side walls. Then we can remove 4 blocks from the centers of the other walls as well. Next is remove 6 blocks from the back wall. Then we can add 8 blocks to the outside of the left wall. And then we can do the same on the other side. Add 8 blocks to the outer wall. Then we can add 5 blocks to the back corner. Then we can fill in between the next section at the 4th block up. Also fill in between the section and add 5 quartz blocks in the back right corner. Then we can do the same to the front of the house. Add 5 quartz blocks to the side. Then fill in the next row. Then we can add 5 blocks in between the two wall sections. Then we can add 5 blocks on the end. Then 
then to finish this step, add a quartz block in between the ends, and repeat on the other side. Step 3. Next is to make two P-shaped quartz structures. We will need 44 quartz blocks. Start at the front corner of the original square we created, then extend 6 quartz blocks upwards. Then add quartz blocks along the top, so there's a total of 8 blocks long. Then extend the sides down, so there's a total of 4 blocks long. Then connect back around. Then let's do the same on the other side. Step 4. Next is add in a second floor. We will need 84 quartz blocks for this step. At the third block up on the P-shaped structure, make a cross beam that extends around the entire house. Then once the ring is created, we can add in three columns on each side. Place the first column on the front corner of the house, the second one at the back corner, and the third where it lines up with the wall below. Then we can add another set of three columns. Line one of them up with the wall below, one in the corner, and one in the front corner of the house. Step 5. Next is to start the first part of the entrance. We will need 8 quartz stairs for this step. Clear out 4 blocks from the bottom of the front of the main square. Then clear out 6 blocks above that. And continue up to the top. Then we can add 4 quartz stairs on top of the single quartz block. Then add 4 quartz stairs on the other side. Step 6. Next is install the third floor. We will need 132 quartz blocks. At the top of the mansion, make another ring of quartz blocks. And make sure this one lines up with the one below. Then we can add blocks in the corners, and these will connect with the second floor below. Then let's repeat on the other side. Make a ring that follows the same pattern as the level below. Then add quartz blocks in the corners. Next, we can make an addition off the side of the third level. Add 4 quartz blocks to the top corner. Then add 4 more blocks where the second floor intersects. Then add 2 more sets of 4 blocks on the other side.
Then we can connect these beams by filling in between the quartz blocks. We can also add in quartz blocks that connect downwards as well. Then let's repeat on the other side. Add four blocks to each corner. Then connect the bottom and top. Step 7. Next is finish the stairway. We will need 16 quartz blocks, 24 oak stairs, and 16 oak slabs. First start by making a ring of quartz blocks. Place the first quartz block at the second block up behind the quartz stair. Then wrap around to the other side. Then add two more rows of oak stairs in the front. Then fill in the platform with oak slabs. Then we can add two more rows of stairs on either side. Step 8. Next is fill on the first floor. We will need 68 quartz blocks and 52 oak planks. First, let's start by installing a strip of quartz blocks on either side. Then place an oak border next to the newly installed quartz blocks. Then we can fill in the center with more quartz blocks. Then let's do the same for the next floor section. Add a strip of quartz blocks on the sides. Then a ring of oak planks. Then fill the center with quartz blocks. Then let's repeat on the other side of the house. To refresh, add a strip of quartz blocks on either side. Then place oak planks along the sides of the quartz blocks. Then fill in the center with more quartz blocks. Then for the back section of the house, add a strip of quartz blocks, followed by oak planks, and more quartz blocks after that. Step 9. Next is fill in the second floor with oak planks. We will need 204 oak planks for this step. Step 10. Next is build a roof tower. We will need 28 quartz blocks, 84 gray concrete blocks, and 144 quartz slabs. First, let's start by placing a gray concrete block on top of the house. And make a ring around the center opening. Then 
Then we can add a second layer to the ring. And then we can also add a third layer of gray concrete to this ring. Next, let's add a one tall quartz ring around the top of the gray concrete. Then we can switch and use quartz slabs and make a border around the bottom half of the first gray concrete block. Next, let's make a second ring of quartz slabs. Start this one at the top half of the second gray concrete block. And continue this ring all the way around. And then lastly, we can make a third and final quartz slab ring. And start this one at the bottom half of the quartz block. And then once completed, we can fill in the center with quartz slabs. Step 11. Next is work on the back additions to the house. We will need 146 quartz blocks. First let's head to the back of the house. And we can add in additional columns at the third level. Next, let's add an extension from this corner and extend out five quartz blocks. Then make another extension at the next intersection. Then make another one over here and extend out each one five blocks. Then we can extend out another three cross section at each intersection on the second level. Then two more below that. And then once we have all seven quartz columns extended, we can connect all the cross beams horizontally. Then we can also connect them vertically. Then we can repeat on the other side. To refresh, add two extra blocks here. Then extend out five blocks from this first intersection. Then extend two more beams out five blocks long on the top row. Then three more below that. And then two more on the bottom. Then we can connect them all horizontally and vertically. Step 12. Next is work on the roof. We will need 180 gray concrete blocks, 44 black glass blocks, 88 quartz slabs, and 8 sea lanterns. First let's work on the large open section first. Fill in the back two rows with gray concrete.
then fill in the front two rows with gray concrete. Then we can fill in the sides two concrete blocks wide as well. Then let's repeat for the other side. To refresh, add two rows of gray concrete in the back. Two rows in the front. Then two rows on the sides. Then let's make a ring of gray concrete, one block wide, around the two back additions. Then let's repeat for the other side. Then we can fill in between the gray concrete with black stained glass blocks. And we can do this for both sides of the house. Next, let's work on the front roof towers. To start, place a placeholder block, then add a block in front. Then remove the placeholder and continue this ring around, and this ring will be stepped up one block. Then we can add a quartz slab ring around the base. Then let's make another ring around the top, add a placeholder, add the quartz slab, and then we can remove the placeholder behind that. And wrap this around to the other side. Then we can add sea lanterns in the center and this will help add extra lighting. Then let's repeat for the other side. To refresh, add a placeholder block, then add a gray concrete block, remove the placeholder, and continue around. Add two rings of quartz slabs, The net sea lanterns in the center. Step 13. Next, let's work on the stairs to the second floor. We will need 60 quartz blocks, 12 quartz stairs, 4 quartz slabs, and 24 oak planks. First, let's fill in the floor with quartz blocks. Then move back a space and place one row of stairs. Then we can add another set of stairs on top. And add a slab at the top of that. Then add two slabs at the top of that. 
Then add two more stairs on an angle. And fill in the floor with quartz blocks. Then let's repeat for the other side. To refresh, fill in the floor with quartz blocks. Then place a stair one space back. Then add another stair on the top. Then add quartz slabs and a stair on the side. Then we can fill in the empty space with quartz blocks. And then next we can add an oak plank to the smaller floors up top. And we can do this on either side. Step 14. Next let's work on installing the first level walls and windows. We will need 16 quartz blocks, 60 glass blocks, 40 gray concrete, 4 quartz slabs, and 4 doors. Start by placing a row of glass blocks in the front of the house. And we can stop once the glass blocks lines up with the quartz pillar down below. Then let's repeat on the other side. Stop once we are lined up with the pillar below. Next is make the interior wall. Make two columns of quartz blocks and two columns of quartz blocks on the other side. Then fill the center with two oak doors. Then place quartz slabs in the sides. Then let's repeat on the other side. Make a quartz wall that lines up with the quartz blocks on the floor. Add two columns over here, two over here, and two doors in the center. And we can add slabs for decoration. Then for the side of the house, use gray concrete and fill in one column. Then leave a column empty. Add two columns of concrete one empty space, and a column on the other side. Then fill in the center with glass blocks. Then for the other sections, add gray concrete on the sides, and glass blocks in the center. And repeat for the next two windows. Then we can leave the back open, as we'll work on that in a little bit. Then we can follow the window pattern that is on the other side. Place concrete on the sides and glass blocks in the center. Then repeat for the next two windows. Then for this section over here, place a column of grain concrete, leave a space open, add two columns, leave an empty space, and add a column on the end, and then fill the center with glass blocks. Step 15. Next is work on the next level walls and windows. We will need 64 quartz blocks, 96 glass blocks, 48 grey concrete, and 14 oak doors. First, let's install the glass along the front walls of the house.
Then on the sides, we could follow the pattern that is identical to the floor below. Add a concrete column on the side, an empty space, two concrete columns, an empty space, and a concrete column on the other side. Then fill the empty spaces with glass. Then add concrete columns on the sides and glass blocks in the centers. Then on the back side of the house, we can add two quartz columns in the back wall. Then we can add two quartz columns on this side. Then let's repeat the same pattern for the other side of the house. Then we can head on the inside and work on the interior walls. Upstairs we can install quartz blocks and an oak door for the back room. Then we can add more quartz blocks that line up with the ones on the floor. Then add two doors in the center. And then we can add quartz blocks around the stairways. We can add in doors over here for the back deck. We can add another wall with doors. And then repeat on the other side of the house. Step 16. Next, let's work on the front and rear decks of the mansion. We will need 92 quartz slabs and 54 glass panes. At the front of the house, use quartz slabs and extend the deck out one row. Then add another row that wraps around the first. And add a glass railing around this outer edge. Then let's repeat for the other side. Then once completed, let's work on the decks in the back of the house. At the upper left corner, extend the slabs out past the door by one space. Then we can add two more rows and add a glass railing. And I'm going to make this glass railing out of glass panes. Then repeat on the right side. Then down below, we can extend this area out with slabs. and adding glass panes for a railing. Next, let's work on the upper middle deck. 
Extend this one out three rows and add in glass panes around the edges. Step 17, next let's work on the porch overhang. We will need 136 quartz blocks and 90 quartz slabs. First at the intersection of the second floor, place 14 quartz blocks and extend these out horizontally. Then once complete, we can place another 14 blocks on the next intersection point. Then connect at the end and fill in between. Then at the 10th block back, we can add a two wide column underneath. And extend this down to the ground. And then we can do the same on the other side. Count back to the 10th space. and make two more columns. Then let's add a ring of quartz slabs to the top. Make sure it's half a space higher and wrap it around to the other side. Then make another slab border that is half a space lower than the porch roof and wrap this around to the other side as well. Step 18. Now the house is complete and you can decorate the landscape the way you prefer. However, I'll show you a time lapse of me building the driveway, as well as the water fountains and bushes. And this will help give you an idea if you would like to build a similar style. To start, I'm going to add stone brick blocks around the base sections of the house. Then I'll extend the border out to the same length as the roof overhang. Then we can add water fountains in the front. Then we can fill in the center with gray concrete.
and we can use oak leaves for bushes. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.